guys, so let's talk about some tips on how to pass the NCLEX. This is probably hands down one of my most frequently asked questions is, how can I pass the NCLEX? What are some tips to help me better prepare? How can I pass it the first time? And all that good jazz. So we're gonna cover my top three tips for passing the NCLEX. These are things that I did. And little backstory, I passed the NCLEX my first time within 75 questions and I um, took it like less than two weeks after I graduated. So it is possible, you can do well on it the first time and I'm gonna give you my tips. But before we get started, I wanna let you know that this video is sponsored by Picmonic. Picmonic is an excellent resource for passing the NCLEX and I'm gonna show you how you can use Picmonic to help you prepare for the NCLEX. I am so bummed I did not have this when I was preparing for the NCLEX because it literally it, it fits everything that I believe in for preparing for the NCLEX. And now there's this awesome resource that basically walks you through that. Also, I'm going to link Picmonic in the description box below because you can get two weeks free when you use my link. Okay, my number one tip for passing the NCLEX, hands down, is doing a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of NCLEX prep questions. Literally, think of your goal NCLEX date, and you should be doing questions probably three, four, five months in advance. There's really no maximum amount of time that you should be doing questions, but really, like even if you're graduating in a year, start now doing NCLEX prep questions. So many people are like, I'll do it when I graduate and, and whatnot, but if you start now, then by the time you graduate, you will be ready to take the NCLEX, trust me. The reason why Picmonic is such a great NCLEX resource is because they provide all of these NCLEX style questions for you. And the awesome thing is you can make up your own question banks. So if you wanna do maybe just 10 quick questions, you can do that. If you wanna do a whole like 265 questions to prepare yourself, like if you sat down and got the max questions on the NCLEX, you can do that as well. Which leads me to my next tip, and that is when you're preparing for the NCLEX, it is a marathon, not a sprint. The people that do well on the NCLEX, for the most part, are people who start preparing early on and gradually work their way up to doing more and more questions versus people that just cram and do it in a week or two. I have not seen as good of results from that as I have from people who practice for a long period of time. So you can use Picmonic to do this, and what I mean is start now, go on there, do five questions and maybe do that every single day for the next week. And then the next week start doing 10 questions. The next week start doing 20 questions. And what's awesome is these question banks can be either customized to content that you are learning in nursing school, or you can make them randomized. And they even can pull questions that maybe you've been struggling on and didn't get correct to help you with that repetitive learning. You get it wrong, you read the rationale, and then you come back to it at a later date. Just as if you're preparing for a, a marathon, you would not prepare for a marathon a week prior to it, right? You would start by running one to two miles a day, work your way up to two to three, then three to four, and so on and so on. So when you're preparing for the NCLEX, start small and gradually work your way up to sitting for about three hours and answering questions. And then I recommend like the week or two prior to the NCLEX, kind of like taper back and don't answer as many questions because you don't want to burn yourself out. It's kind of like that recovery time right before a marathon. You do not run 26 miles a day before your marathon, right? You take a little break. So one to two weeks prior to the NCLEX, take that little break and slowly just answer a couple questions every day to kind of give your muscles and your brain a rest. My third tip, and my this is my last tip, is to make sure you read the rationales of your questions and what you're getting wrong. And Picmonic does this for you. If you get a question wrong, you can read the rationale. And what's nice is that when you get it wrong, it pops up with the rationale and you can immediately go reference the Picmonic that it's referring to. That way you can have a visual diagram picture of what you actually missed. So that way the next time you have that visual memory cue. Picmonic creates funny visual stories for you to help remember the stuff you're already learning in nursing school. Warfarin, shown in this Picmonic as Warfairy, is an oral anticoagulant that can lead to excessive bleeding if taken in excess. Thus, in the case of an overdose, it's important to be familiar with its associated antidotes. Vitamin K, illustrated by the Viking K King, is an important antidote used, as this stimulates the production of coagulation factors 2, 7, 9, and 10, along with protein C and S. Keep in mind, this does not have an immediate onset of action. 
Accordingly, in the setting of an acute bleed or extreme coagulopathy, fresh frozen plasma is another effective antidote, depicted by the Frozen Plasma TV. I think this is so helpful for the NCLEX because have you ever found yourself kind of coming back to the same questions over and over? Like you, you know certain things, but then you, the things that you don't know, you keep forgetting. And then the question comes up and you're like, oh yeah, I don't remember that still. Well, with Picmonic, you can go right away, look at the Picmonic, get that visual memory cue. So that way, when you come back to that question, you got it. Okay, I know I only said three tips, but I wanna give like a couple more little general tips for you guys. First, don't compare your journey to taking the NCLEX to anyone else. So many people may not pass the first time and that's okay. You just have to change your study habits, change your study routine so that way you can pass the next time. Don't get discouraged that if you fail the first time that you're going to keep failing and that you're not meant to be a nurse. That's not true at all. I've had friends that are now ICU nurses, pediatric ICU nurses who failed it several times before passing it. Passing the NCLEX is literally, you're just passing a test. It does not define who you are as a nurse. It does not mean you're gonna be a crappy nurse it's literally just a test and the nursing world you're not designed to think like a test my next little tip is to whatever you're doing to study the NCLEX really just be consistent with it don't cram and study for one week and then don't do anything for a couple weeks just consistently study every single day over time and that's going to benefit you if you do all these tips i guarantee that when you graduate you can take your nclex sooner than most of the rest of your class i took my nclex i think 10 days after i graduated because i was like i don't need to study anymore i've been studying for months and months and months and months whereas some of my classmates did not study and they wanted to take a month or two to prepare for the nclex after they graduated which is totally fine but in my opinion i was like i've been studying for a long time i'm just ready to go I wanna thank Picmonic for sponsoring this video. Honestly guys, if you don't go try Picmonic right now, you're gonna be disappointed. Click my link in the description box, you get two weeks free, and just, just trust me guys. Let me know if you guys have any other NCLEX tips in the comments down below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.